tonight on BBC One. A gripping two-part thriller from the creators of Spooks. There's been a murder. A crime so heinous, only one woman could solve it. So what do you say there, Missy? Can you tell us who done it? You what? Jade Goody is the slapper capper. I ain't not done doing anything till I got my front page spread on Heat magazine. But Jade, you're a husband. I'm not my husband. I married you, you chipstick. Oh, Lord. Are you going to solve the crime or no? What are you on about, Baldy? Where's my Veruca Queen? Oh, fuck this. I didn't go through ten years of acting school to work alongside the slapper capper. Where's me fucking Sam Pegney? I've got nothing to go with this pate. The Slapper Capper, starring Jade Goody. Another quality programme from the channel you have to pay £120 a year for. Even though you're probably watching Sky. The BBC. You, you, you are waiting for death. Fancy a shag while you're waiting. Salon cut and mystical effervescence to you. This is Flavia with your stars. Aries, you have a light-hearted attitude to everything, which is why everybody is gunning for you. When I say gunning, I don't mean that in a supporting sense, but rather in that everyone is more than willing to shoot, stab, bash, run over, strangle or bludgeon you to death. Taurus, you will meet a tall dark stranger in an alleyway at 6.15 this evening. He will utter the phrase, the mighty winds of the Okanogan emphasizes the need for a lightly salted pencil eraser, to which you must respond with, and so to be the imperativeness that Colonel Motoya defines the intent of the southeastern Australian snake-necked tortoise upon completion of Io's third cycle of the constellation Omicron Persa I-8. Your lucky star is a song by Madonna. Gemini, if you go into the woods today, you'll get a big surprise. That mount of dirt you trip over will contain the remains of a Ukrainian prostitute, and you will be implicated in her murder, which will in turn leave your boss no option but to fire you from your job. Then your wife will leave you and your house repossessed. Your lucky number is up. Cancer, after what you did to me last night, I have nothing to say to you. Leo, you prefer to be self-reliant and do things your own way. This is a perfect time to bury your head up your own arse and suffocate yourself. Virgo, people are forever asking you for help. Do not feel as though the rest of the world is far too stupid to do anything on its own. It's just that you surround yourself with idiots. Doesn't say much for you now, does it? Libra, your star sign is now a registered trademark. You have been reassigned the new name of Minge. Scorpio, you're a cunt. Sagittarius, 12 years ago today, a bizarre astronomical occurrence left you with a horrific facial disfigurement. Your nose moved down to the left by several inches, and an eye socket jutted sideways toward your right ear. I'm not offering you any hope here, just merely pointing out the fact that you have been ugly for exactly 12 years. Capricorn, you have every right to feel depressed today. I was talking with Sharon and she told me what you and Rory were up to round the back of the bike sheds the other day when he put his hands down your top and pulled out two packets of M&Ms. Aquarius, your need to find love will be outweighed by your need to eat your own body weight in Mars bars. Your lucky cow is a Frisian. I sees. Absolutely nothing of importance will happen today, and I highly recommend you go straight back to bed now and continue masturbating. Your tissue of choice is Kleenex. This has been Flavia, wishing you peace, love, and perpetual bit rates of unlimited marrow extraction. So long, clot. Flatpod. And French is back full fair and fetishly after the score of Stratford at a bow. For French of Paris was to hear unknown. Ooh! Get you, you bitch! Anyway, the best thing to do is to rub a bit of Bongella into it and you'll be right as rain. Whenever the friction starts to tear the skin, I always reach for it. It's an unsubstantiated fact that all gay people have AIDS. So, if you ever come to the aid of a person bleeding in the street, make sure you look for the signs. If they're wearing a tight white t-shirt, are adorned with jewelry, or are humming a Barbara Streisand tune to numb their pain, then stand well clear, douse them in fuel, and set them alight. This message is brought to you by xenophobic, narrow-minded, Bible-bashing twats who have sex with altar boys. 
Snake admits he can't actually climb ladders. Bill Gates earns another $2 billion, but still looks like a dweeb. Fat Slack wearing a tight pink top emblazoned with the words hot chick, unable to convince anyone of said proclamation. And Lazy Sperm, uninterested in competing for ovaries. This is Psych News, where the truth of the matter is no longer the cause. With your host, Baron Clef Pallet. In what scientists are calling a pivotal breakthrough in scientific history, scientists have announced that they will no longer use the word pivotal to describe any further scientific breakthroughs. Some geek with Coke bottle glasses and a white lab coat and a pair of those cheap shoes you get at Asda said that the word had become old hat and cliched. It was time to update and move with the times for the now generation. He then announced that the substitute term for pivotal would become cool as. Yes, uh, we believe it's a uh, pivotal moment in uh, scientific um, breakthroughs. The first example of its use has already sent a flurry of activity across the wires, when scientists announced just yesterday that they have discovered an even deadlier strain of the Ebola virus, which he claims is cool as. A shocking report released 20 seconds ago reveals that dogs as young as two are engaging in sexual activities. A small independence lobby group with fuck all else to do came up with the findings over tea and scones. It all started when local busybody Elsa Twiddle noticed her three-year-old chinchilla being savagely butt-raped by an 18-month-old bull mastiff. The chinchilla is said to be in a state of ecstasy, whilst the bull mastiff was seen nicking down the local for a pint of grolsch. Weather for the Marianas Trench. Cool, dark conditions with a very low pressure system hanging about until the sun boils the liquid off the face of the planet. Once again, it'll be wet. Psych News. News for your ears, not for your eyes. This is Waiting for Dead. 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 The least you could do is wash your hands. It will never be the same again, ever, 2005. Featuring such dates as March 11th, the 22nd of September, and who could forget July the 8th? Plus, where would 2005 have been if it wasn't for November the 1st? It will never be the same again, ever, 2005, on sale from August 13th. Heavenly Pod. It's story time with Jean-Paul. This is the story of Black Beauty. And what a beauty. The young virgin had never seen such a stallion. Her eyes almost popped out of her pretty little head at such a sight. It was 13 inches on the slack, and she longed to take it in her mouth. She looked very hot with her suspenders and cute white panties. She longed to be violated by this pulsating schlong. Just one look at her bald cumbox made him stand to attention. All day they were shucking and fucking and fucking and shucking until his juicy ball bags could take no more. She was still so horny that it was time for a toy show. In her drawer there was a selection of dildos and butt plugs which she loved to play with. Even though her stallion had spent his seed, he was still happy to stroke his hairy potatoes as she rammed these plastic cocks up her vertical smile. Here groans could be heard throughout the house, and now the neighbors had come round to join in with this insatiable slut. Sven the plumber and Hans the pizza delivery boy had big bulges in their dungarees, which this bitch was all too happy to satisfy. The double penetration special was one of her fantasies, and soon both of these guys had entered her, squealing like a little piglet. Her poop shoot and her pussy were red raw, but for her, this was heaven. Good night, boys and girls. Till next time. You have been waiting for death. To find out more, visit us online. Waitingfordeath.net Copyright Wonkana Productions 2006